What's up, everybody? OMB. Hey, look, I appreciate y'all subscribing to the channel. Do subscribe if you're not subscribed. And hit the bell icon so you can be notified for future videos. Now, look, I know some of y'all going to say, yo, pay these folks no mind. But I do these videos for a reason. Because you got to understand, there's other people who need to, how could I say it, um, learn a different way of handling these people. You know what I mean? And if I say nothing, they just keep on with their behavior. And it's like, you know what? I'm going to address you. It's not like I'm not at home going, oh, my God. But to me, it's, it's fun because they're idiots. And to me, you come on here calling me something, and then, and then they talk about Deontay Wilder, they, 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 they said that, first of all, they said I got low IQ. They said Deontay Wilder got low IQ. So, I want to talk about IQ. IQ stands for Intelligence Quotient. Now, I looked up the meaning of it because I want to give you an exacto mundo with my low IQ. <laughs> a number representing a person's reasoning ability. And then in quotations it says measured using problem solving test see i got a theory about these quote unquote test your book smart um allegedly because you talked about my iq you know and others have talked about um deontay wilder's iq so You go take the test and you pass it with flying colors. Let's say I take the test and I didn't score too great because it's based on a score, y'all. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a test. So, you know, it's ba they based on the score. They, the test is telling them based on what you've learned in school or what you've been taught in school, how, how today, you know, how they teach is based on that. Now, I didn't score too. Let's say I didn't score too great. And just and just for the record, um, I haven't took a test in like twenty five years, and I took a test to go to the what is that to be a um a correctional officer when I at like about five years back. I just wanted to try something new. Glad it didn't happen. You know what I'm saying? But um. I scored damn near 100 on everything, B. You know what I'm saying? Only test that had, it was hard for me was the running test, the mile thing. I was like, yo, I ain't expect all of that. But other than that, I have no problem passing the test. First of all, I read. <laughs> y'all people, man. Y'all, they have no idea, B. You know what I'm saying? Even though I grew up in the streets and, and I've been literally on the streets. You know how you know you've been on the streets when you've been homeless? I've been homeless, B. That's being on the streets, not having a place to go. And a lot of you folks say that y'all been on the streets, y'all sold drugs, but you had a place to lay your head. I ain't have nothing. That's on the streets. But anyway, enough about me. Now, let's take that same, let's, no, 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 no. Let's take you, homie. You, dude. And let's take you and put you, where, where was that I lived? I lived in. What was that? Ryan, Georgia. Let's put you dead smack in the middle of Ryan, Georgia with nothing. And see how much your IQ test helps you out there. Stores close at like 6 o'clock. Hardly nobody's outside. You can hardly find a place to live. There's places out there. You just got to find them. You know what I'm saying? Everything is miles away, B. Your nearest... Your nearest... Um, your, your nearest, like, superstore, like a supermarket, like, big one, is, like, 30 miles away, B. <laughs> I survived it. You know how I survived it? Because I've been out in the world, B. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I've been out. And then I've been homeless. So being homeless and then going out to a place like that, okay, uh, you know, and I and I knew people, of course. I had, I, had, I had family members out there, but still, they wasn't much help. Had to help myself big time. You know what I'm saying? And, yo, let's stick you out there. Let's see how well you do with all your IQ tests. Now, 
You take that same person who's out there in the country, not 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 the one, not 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 the not the quote unquote smart one. And then that person meets somebody out there. You know, let me just go ahead and tell you right now. I ain't even gonna give you no stuff. I'm just gonna tell you the truth. I've met people out there in the country, Ryan, Georgia. You know what I'm saying? Abbeville, Georgia. Look, look, look and see where's that Abbeville. A B B E V I L L E. Abbeville. Look it up. While you and your smart self and all your brains is going out there to this mechanic who went to school for Lord knows how many years to be this master mechanic, I go to the guy out there who's sitting up under the tree with some shade who can't read, but he can rebuild your whole car in and out and do a better job than the doggone person who went to school for all them years. Because the dude who's out there in the, in, in, in the dang on streets who's up under the tree has no choice but to know what he's doing because that's how he gets paid. But he didn't did it. He didn't learn it going to school because remember he can't read. So, how do you test his IQ? Let's test your IQ against his in the real world. Let's see how well you do. Let's test your survivability out there in the real world. Make categories for everything that's not on paper for survivability. How you survive in out there in the world with nothing and become something and survive. Make an IQ test out of that because that's the opposite of the books. The books is telling you what you learn in school. But there's people who don't learn in school. You know what I'm saying? There's people who actually learn out here in the world. There's people out here who can't read or write, but they can tear your car apart and put it back together. Tear your house down and rebuild it. All of that just as well as the person who went to school and even better most times. Because when you got hands-on experience, that's the best experience you can get. So let's not sit up here and talk about IQ, B. You know what I'm saying? Because you have no idea what you're talking about or who you're talking to. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I just wanted to, you know, talk a little bit to y'all. OMB signing out. Peace.